की खूब और कब्बाते सी टीवी सोफिस्टिकेशन मीट स्टाइल द स्टाइलिश ट्रेंड सेटर टाटा कर्फ एस यू वी इज इन टाउन इंडिया फर्स्ट कूपे एस यू वी इज नाउ इन शिलोंग नेट फूडिश और दार मफी निन वन रामी हाखर डब यिंग जोंगफी Kasorkar Meghalaya kalabai ban mang mar arlak tengka eki office deputy commissioner nagabantaban penrika mi kendon jongka an Meghalaya resident safety and security act yagane la pentep dakanong aktien jong sorkar jela dr Ampari Lindo kabala long ru hakaju ka puar ka menteri jong ka sorkar hadian blawai de ngelang ki kenhul menteri hakakat ratabek wisau arja fa Kementri kelai tu baka jingwan ra e kan hi skim ban bang pisa kalong ban pencai kam pura e kan ka an ban khang la de ka jingwan rung jong ki men der sha kan hi jela shu shu kelai tu bagi district task force ki badan hai khat arli de sek jong jela ki dan kam ya ki tiar ki tar ban thien na ban ta ban lum jing khen ya ka rung kami jong ki briew ki ban apar shapo kan hi jela one item was the operationalization of the mrssa a scheme had to be Uh, instituted by the government wherein we will make the entire mr ssa procedure functional so this scheme entails uh, the provision under finance for dcs to avail budgetary allocations so that uh, work and uh, monitoring of of the mr ssa begins at the earliest so that was done and it was decided that we will have a revolving fund of a minimum of 2 lakhs per district in districts where there would be a requirement for a bigger budget because of bigger numbers of 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 authorities like the darbars and others who are anyways entailed to uh, help with the monitoring of uh, visitors it gives um, power to the district task force to avail a scheme from the government of meghalaya from 2 lakhs onward depending on the demand and requirement of a particular district not all districts will require so under this provision you require funding say perhaps for laptops or computers for internet facilities then the district task force has non official members also who will have to be given sitting fees tda and other such requirements many hitmen in fact have been asking for laptops and computers so that they can enter the database of landlord and tenants in their own locality as you are aware many uh, localities in shillong city have started on a pilot way to start implementing the mrcc by entering the details of landlord and tenants in their own jurisdiction however they are facing difficulty because it's an online database why online because it has to be accessed by the police and by the district task force that's why this <coughs> online database was created in a portal so to make it more active and to ensure that this act is implemented in the right spirit as per the mandate of the act the government has come up with a scheme as madam mentioned where 2 lakhs per district task force will be given and those districts which require more will get more they can spend for laptops or computers for sitting fees of non official members and etc you know for the for the purpose of implementation of mrss SSA has its own guideline, which does not affect citizenship, if I am correct. So why are we confusing the two? We have already been given certain mandated observations by the Supreme Court also on this matter, and hence we are taken, we have taken cognizance of all the advisories given to the state. Hence, you see, the MRSSA that is now being proposed and enacted is uh, enacted after consideration of all of those uh, all of those uh, observations. Simply an anticipated scenario. We, as a government, would not like to comment on anticipated scenarios of another state. We will face these problems. We will we will take a decision when these problems come to us. Right now, it would be futile for us to imagine that such a scenario will also happen.